Jake was a typical little eight-year-old boy. We just happened to go to the pediatrician for a regular appointment, and that's when my world completely turned upside down. Never did I imagine that we were gonna leave with a cancer diagnosis and a stage three cancer diagnosis. I was surprised at how well he took the news. Just super positive, ready to fight. There were moments that he didn't realize how therapeutic he was to me. Who do you turn to? And um, Jessica from day one, her being positive and loving and building a rapport with us made an incredible difference. Holt's children, Alex's place, Sylvester became home for us for the next 11 months. It's fun there, like especially the game room. That says, a, that says a lot about the treatment here and how kind everyone is. Each time the kids get scanned, it's a day of torment for the parents. It literally has a pit in my stomach while I'm waiting. So to be able to just put her mind at ease and she could go home and tell Jake, like, listen, everything is good. It's the best feeling ever for us. I was just sitting there, <laughs> lifeless. <laughs> Excited inside though. To hear Jessica call and say that there's no evidence of disease was just the relief is there's no words to describe it. Through this journey, Jake said, I want to be able to help others the way that Jessica and, and all the other healthcare providers have helped him. And so his dream is to be a medic in the army. And then when you retire, what do you want to do? History professor. He wants to be a history but if professor. But if that, if, that, if that section's full, then a geography. <laughs> there you go. For Jake to identify uh, and be labeled survivor is, my gosh, we feel beyond blessed. I appreciate everybody that was there for me. I feel like I won the lottery now that my, my son is, is healthy and thriving. Be very mindful of living in the present because each, each moment, each second is a gift.